Causeway Bay to meet up with the hubby and he's already walking around and just got off work and we're going to look for white sneakers because I want to retire the ones that I've been wearing, the Converse ones and then I'm going to look at Common Project and Saint Laurent and then we're gonna have dinner So we just left on our own and we looked at the Andy sneakers and I we, we actually wanted to look at that style but they didn't have it in my size so we're gonna check out Lane Crawford. If Lane Crawford has them then we'll buy them from Lane Crawford because I received a gift card from them after my Max Mara purchase so it's like 700 Hong Kong dollars so it's actually pretty good and so if they have it now and then I'll also want to look at the common project ones the common project ones are I think around $500 cheaper than um, the Salon Ron Andy so we'll see Hello everyone! I've been so busy at work lately that I haven't had time to go to the course exhibition at PMQ and I'm going to have dinner with some primary school friends tonight so before that I'm gonna check out the exhibition
it's raining today. I'm walking to IFC to meet up with my parents. We're gonna have Shake Shack for lunch. I'm gonna walk around before going home. I am gonna go home now because I need to pack. Okay, bye bye. into this suitcase and before we start I'd like to tell you where I'm going and with whom. I'm going to Osaka tomorrow with my parents and the hubby is not going with us this time because he has to work and we're gonna spend four days and three nights in Osaka so it's gonna be fun. Before I put stuff inside this suitcase I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. This is a Remoa Essential Check-In Size Medium or 60 liters in matte black. I've been using this suitcase for many years now, at least five years, and I really like it because it's very light and I really like the four wheels because when I push it, I really don't have to use much energy even if it's full and I can place my bag on top of this suitcase so that I have one fewer thing to carry, but of course I'll be holding on to it. So let's get started. pretty cold in Osaka around 7 to 9 degrees Celsius at night and around 17 to 20 degrees Celsius in the afternoon so I have to actually layer my outfit so that I don't feel too hot in the afternoon and not too cold at night I don't want to wear my down jacket so that's why I am bringing my Max Mera 101801 and I've steamed it and tried to fold it properly so that it doesn't wrinkle that much but I think it's still gonna wrinkle so I'll see how it goes and this is going to take up one quarter of my suitcase which is fine jeans I'm bringing one pair because I'm just going to go for four days three nights and I'm wearing one pair tomorrow a beanie just in case it gets really cold PJs four t-shirts, clean underwear, heat tech, and socks. I always bring my flip-flops with me because I like to wear flip-flops when I'm in the hotel room and these are Havaianas. And this is my toiletry bag. Moisturizer here, I'll list everything in the info box below. Popo ointment for my lips. Nail file, nail clipper, 
and then I have my eraser and pencil for writing my gratitude journal and of course I also have a teeny tiny pencil sharpener eyelash brush handkerchief deodorant I use this brand I really like it crystal tweezers hair ties and that's it in this product cosmetic bag I have all the charging cables for my phone Apple watch and the Osmo pocket then I have this foldable small hand carry from the spot sack it's not too big but it's good enough if I have to put something like duty-free and stuff like that and there's no hole on the back to um, put on the handle of this suitcase but I think it's pretty good I can carry it on my shoulder yeah maybe and this is just in case I may not need this I, I didn't buy this at the spot sack the shop it's a gift from a magazine uh, you know one of those magazines that they sell at Japanese bookstores the magazine is actually like a catalog so their main purpose was to sell this bag so I really like this because it doesn't look too not cool a cloth bag from Flying Tiger that I bought in Japan and I'm gonna carry this with me when I go out but not now because I have a lot of things in my um, bag I'm bringing the Birkin with me and then sunglasses these are the Wayfarers umbrella I want to take pictures with my parents and that's why I'm bringing my tripod I've never carried my tripod with me when I go on vacation but because this time I really want to take pictures with them and I don't want to trouble people I definitely bring this tripod the, the day that we go to Osaka Castle my gratitude journal of course and I'm not carrying the whole sticker book with me because it's too heavy and so I have already stuck stickers on different pages because I know where we're going what we're gonna eat so I'm just putting random stickers of Japanese food on different pages so get tight so as you can see I've only filled half of the suitcase we are sharing a room and I know that we can't each take a big suitcase therefore I told them that I'll bring a big one and then they can each bring a small one I'll be letting my mom put stuff in my suitcase and I can carry it because I don't want them to carry heavy suitcase so yeah and there's a divider here surgical masks wet tissue Kleenex Ziploc bags earplugs and stuff like that that I always keep in here I don't take them out So I'm gonna end this vlog now and go to bed early because I have to leave home at around 5.30 tomorrow for the 7.50 flight. I've already done online check-in so I just need to arrive one hour before the flight. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you like the content I put out. Can't wait to talk to you in the comments below. The next time I see you, I'll be in Japan. I'm gonna see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.